Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Saturday, the last Saturday of February, somehow, already. Don't know how that's happened, but that's exciting. Um, we've had a busy week around here, an exciting week. Uh, Daisy is doing fantastic. She's our new lifestyle coordinator. She and Catherine, we'll talk about it in a little bit here, but she'll be here a little bit later today. They took the members over to Vashon Island yesterday. Um, and then she's going to come in later this afternoon so she can help with our MTL magazine release party. So that's why she's not with me now. Uh, but she did her first summit here live last week, and it was very exciting. Um, so I'm without a co-host once again, but I did it since October, so I can probably do it one more week. It'll be fine. All right, so as I mentioned yesterday, uh, members, this was our exclusive Barrel Master Locker event. Catherine has a great partnership with the Palouse Winery over on Vashon Island, and so they had a private tasting uh, over there, and I heard through the grapevine that uh, a couple members actually joined the winery, the wine club there. Um, they had a fantastic time. It was very cold, but beautiful. So you can see they ventured out. They took the ferry over. They left from um, the Tacoma dock, and then they ventured out onto the dock or onto the ferry deck, um, and then got to have a private tasting exclusively for them with the winemaker. And then uh, you can see, I believe this is the view from the winery, um, but a beautiful sunset that they got to capture as well. So beautiful day. Um, it was a fun one for Daisy to be able to go to as well to get to know some of the members. I love Vashon. I forgot I had a show and tell. So they, the ferry dock, the ferry terminal, when you land, when you come over from Tacoma, is on this side of the island. And then the winery is over on the far end. And if those, I think you two are familiar because of the lighthouse, probably. Um, but Vashon is huge. People don't really realize how big the island is, but it's quite large. Um, and so they had a little bit of time until they stopped. Catherine is so cute. She said, we're going to stop um, oh, in the city. And I was like, oh, no, it's not a city. <laughs> uh, but so they stopped on the main drag, if you will. That's part of what I love about Vashon is it's just still very quiet. It's growing, but it still just has that cozy vibe to it. So I was like, it's not a city. Don't call it a city. Let it be a main street. So they stopped on main street and uh, I suggested this bakery that when Jason and I went last year with members to Vashon, we stopped at and it's a, I believe it's a vegan bakery. And so I told them about these cookies that I got. And then I got in this morning and there was one of them on my desk. So these cookies are literally the size of your head. Um, it's a fantastic chocolate chip cookie. Um, but if you ever go over to the island, I highly suggest checking it out. Um, I believe it's called Snapdragon is what it is. And it's great, local, everything local, delicious. Um, so this was one of our event reviews. And then the next one was last week, uh, members went to Georgetown with Todd uh, to visit Fran's Chocolate. Um, the chocolate maker actually emailed me and said they loved having our trilogy group there and they want to do future partnerships, which was, yeah, mm -hmm. I heard we bought a lot of chocolate there, so I'm sure that's why. <laughs> but uh, that's part of what we want to do, right? We want to work with local local creators and uh, support our local economy as well. And so these are just a couple of pictures from the adventure. Todd said he was really impressed with the lady who was talking about the company. She gave a cool history snapshot of Fran. Sandy, were you, did you attend? Yeah, it's amazing. This is the original radio building that they're in, not the building. This is, it's a beautiful building. Uh, this is also where my tattoo shop is, is in this building, and it's the same, where it's all exposed beams and just, yeah, beautiful. I love it. Um, 
but I love Fran's chocolate. Todd said the favorite was the caramel. I think it was. Uh, those are my personal favorite, the sea salt caramels that they do. But very exciting. Um, so I'm looking to possibly partner with them and be able to have their chocolates at a future event coming up. So that'll be fun. And with the end of a month comes a new happier hour month. So this month we are featuring pork carnita quesadillas, mini beef wellingtons, six cheese raviolis, and fried potato wedges, which what it doesn't say on here is that the fried potato wedges come with a rosemary and Parmesan garlic butter. So it's not just your ordinary fried potato, it's a little elevated, delicious one. Um, but so those will be getting this Wednesday. Um, and a general reminder that happier hour is available in the restaurant as well. So if you have a reservation in the restaurant, you can order off the happier hour menu. Um, so please come, fantastic food, and it's also available to go. So if you want a little snack, um, you can always call it in as well. And Motion Month, we are kicking off Motion Month beginning March 1st. Uh, for those of you who are newer to the community, Motion Month is our trilogy theme for March, every March. Um, it's a fun one for us. We will have bingo cards. Uh, we, they haven't arrived yet, but they will be available March 1st on MTL. Our central services team will post them as a news post for us. And then you can download the bingo card. Um, for those of you who are newer to the community, each each square on the card has a different activity or kind of challenge. Some of them involve drinking a certain amount of water. Some of them are mindfulness-based. Um, some of them are class-based. And then the fitness team and the concierge team will have stamps that say MM on them. Um, and so when you complete one, you can bring it in and we'll stamp it for you. And then on the credenza right out here, there will be a black um, receptacle. I don't know what to call it, but like, you know, a little and box. Thank you. I don't know why that one was so hard. I think I was trying to think of a specific word for like collecting ballots. Like I don't, yeah, a box. Uh, <laughs> there'll be a box out on the credenza um, that once you complete a bingo, you can put your name in there and then there'll be a separate box for the blackout. Um, and so if you black out the card, you can submit it into there. There is a national prize that uh, all of our blackout uh, completions get submitted to that one. And then um, the prizes this year are pretty neat. I don't know if I'm allowed to reveal them yet. Um, I'll confirm that and then sneak peek it next week. But when they were going over it on the card, I or on our lifestyle call, I was asking if they could just send me one too, because I really wanted one, and I was told no. So um, I will be adventuring out to find my own version of it. But so really exciting. Um, Daisy and I have come up with some unique programming for it. One of the squares is to eat meatless twice a week. So Daisy is going to be hosting a... Um, a vegetarian cooking demo. I believe she's doing a, oh, I wish she was here because it sounds really phenomenal. I'm not going to say it right. It's basically a, a tofu spring roll with multiple dipping sauces. Uh, so she will be hosting that. Uh, she and I are finishing up the details on it today, and then we'll get it posted to MTL. And then I'm going to be hosting a, one of the boxes is Take a Nature Walk. And so I will be hosting a sensory nature walk, um, which is, I've been, four days this week, I got out and got walking before work, which brings me great joy. And it brings my brain calm before I start the day. Um, and so part of what I love about the trails is when you're in the ones that are kind of in Trilogy, not the ones close to Cascadia Boulevard, I've just not been using my headphones because it's really cool, like as the snow's melting, to hear and like really fully be present in those moments. Um, and so we'll be doing a sensory walk where um, we're just paying attention to what's around us. So we're not going to be chatting. We're just fully going to be in nature and appreciate what's right out our back door. Um, and then when we come back, we'll have a little kind of debrief about maybe you noticed something different than you would have if you were walking with a neighbor and chatting or listening to a podcast or something. So both of those will be happening in March. 
And then, of course, we always have our fabulous fitness classes as well. So Sips and Supper, uh, this is our rebranded Grapes and Grub. We had a great one last month that got great reviews. And so for this month, we still have some tickets available. So the menu for this one, it's going to be a plated experience. Uh, for our first course, we have a panzanella salad with a basil honey vinaigrette. Panzanella is one of my favorite things on this planet um, because it's a salad, but it has like crusty, delicious bread in it. So it's like fake healthy. Um, and then we have chicken puttanesca and an apple crostata for dessert. Um, all of those, the main course is gluten-free and then the first two have gluten-free options available for them that we've designed. And then for the wines, um, we are working with August Imports. So really great, delicious wines. Uh, we tried these ones. There's a fantastic Syrah that I'm interested to see how everyone uh, likes that one. But so tickets are still available for this one. So if you'd like to come, please register. And men's lunch is also coming up this month. Uh, we are doing a St. Patrick's themed menu for this one. Uh, so it is going to be uh, green salad, soda bread, shepherd's pie, and Bailey's chocolate brownie. Yum. So this one uh, is March 14th, and last day to register is March 7th. So just about a week left. If you're interested in coming, please register on MTL. And I haven't gotten my pretty um, slide back from our fantastic central services team yet, so you get to have my clip art as if I'm in the fifth grade again. So we are going to be going to the Tacoma Rainiers. We have a private suite just for Trilogy. Um, this is going to be August 4th, and it's also fireworks night. So we'll be staying for the fireworks show after the game. The ticket includes uh, the private suite, a ballpark buffet, uh, select beer, wine, and non-alcoholic beverages, and then the fireworks show afterwards. So this is a fun one. Um, I think there's 12 people registered so far. We're able to have 19 uh, in the suite plus Daisy. So uh, it's a great fun to support the local baseball team um, and get out and have some fun. And I was really excited when I saw it was fireworks night because why the heck not? It's just fun. So baseball. Oh, they're in uh, Tacoma. Yep. So um if you go, oh, I'm really bad with the highways right around there. But it's kind of like if this is the part of downtown Tacoma-ish area, it's like right over here. And this is us. Yes, thank you, Sandy Peace. As if you were going to go across the Narrows Bridge. But if you've gone across the Narrows Bridge, you've gone much too far and paid an unnecessary toll. So loop it back around. Uh, highway 16, thank you, Skip. Thank you. Yes, Highway 16. Box 16, things, it's fine. Um, but Highway 16, and then it's Cheney Stadium, is what the, the baseball stadium there is called. So. Um, again, that is April 4th, um, and I think there's seven tickets left. So if you're interested in going, please register. We're going to meet here at 3.30 and then caravan to the stadium. Gates are at 4.30 and first pitch is at 6. So that'll be a fun one. Take us out to the ball game because that's April and that's what we do. Uh, Daisy and I are also looking at a Mariners game probably in May. Uh, so watch out for that one as well. Um, but yes. It's fun, baseball season, and baseball seems like it never stops. I used to work at the stadium, so hearing about all of the fun. They sold out opening day at T-Mobile Park, which is great because it's been a long time since we've had this, like, enthusiasm for the Mariners. So love to see that, um, but we'll be excited to take uh, members to a Mariners game as well. And then last but not least, uh, with the wonderful Daisy, returns our monthly calendar of lifestyle events. So uh, these are, this will be posted to MTL as a news post, uh, but if you'd like a copy, it just features some highlights of all of our lifestyle activities that we have coming up. Um, and then again, our wonderful central services team uh, puts together this beautiful kind of 
graphic. Uh, Daisy was so funny. She was like, oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to do the graphics and I'm not a graphic designer. I was like, oh no, we have teams. We rely on each other. So uh, this is available on the credenza or you're welcome to take one with you. It just gives you a snapshot of upcoming events that you can go to MTL to learn more or register for. Um, and then last but not least, Hudson's is officially back to operating. The paint is done, the drywall is done, the um, sprinklers have been reassessed. Yesterday, we had a moment of panic because one of them was dripping and uh, I was gonna take the managers uh, on an adventure and we got halfway down the hill and someone called and we said loop-de-loo, came back up. Uh, we were able to turn the water off to the system, call the company, and they found a uh, inch of ice in the pipe. So it's been so cold that it is uh, freezing the system, uh, but Robert has adjusted our thermostat. So it will be 75 degrees in Hudson's in the evening uh, to combat the not during dinner service, but when we leave, because that's when the temperatures have been dropping to 17 degrees and our system's just not used to that. So to prevent that from happening, thermostat is getting turned up uh, to keep our pipes warm and to combat the garage door, which does let some of that cold air in. Uh, so we prevent that rain shower from happening again. So yeah, that's all I got. Does anyone have any questions? The magazine release party is tonight, um, and then the member-led club expo is this Monday. So you're welcome to come to the party. We'll be in here and in the grand living room. Um, after this, at 11, 11 or 11.30, there's the estate planning workshop. So uh, Hunter and I are going to be flipping this room so that we can get chairs in here ready to go. And then we'll be flipping her again so that we can get set up for the, the party tonight. So uh, I think it, it's 11 or 11.30. I can double check. Does anyone have any questions while I'm double checking that? Skip, did you have something to share? <laughs> Skip, do you wanna come up here so the folks at home can hear you a little bit better? There is. There's Bill and Janelle and Kelly and the Himrods and John Alexander and Ann just joined and Carmen. Here you go, Skip. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> Trilogy Serves is starting a, what we're calling a health and hygiene drive for White River Community Outreach, which is a nonprofit that operates in Bonnie Lake and Buckley and provides all kinds of resources for families in need. Um, one of the things that's happened that a lot of us are not aware of, but a national program, which was attached to food stamps called SNAP, came into a being during the pandemic, which provided supplemental uh, uh, you know, resources for people who had food stamps. That program ends on March, March 1st, yeah. which means these people are gonna be even more in need than they were. And of course, hygiene items like bath soap and toothpaste and these kinds of things, you can't buy with food stamps. So with food prices going up, these uh, you know, the benefits being reduced, uh, we thought this would be a good time to help out White River and see if we can gather some things for them. Um, we, we have an Amazon website, which is actually directed by the director of uh, White River Outreach. And we are also gonna have two drop-off dates. One is a week from today, nine to one in the parking lot. I'm sure as hell hope it's warmer than it is today. Um, and then another one the following Saturday. And there's a very limited number of products we're looking for. Toilet paper, deodorant, bar soap, laundry soap, shampoo and conditioner and razors. And I've got a, a little flyer here. If you are on the Trilogy Serves email list, you'll get one of these. And it'll allow you to click right through to the Amazon website if you want to use that. Or, um, and it also specifically gives you the dates and times of when we have the drop-offs. 
And the I, Amazon website was really successful for the diaper drive too. Right, it was. people could just go in yeah, and log yeah, on yeah, the right. link. Now, this is supposed to be on MTL. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> Just uh, kidding. Know, that she, one's she on said me. Be on by this weekend because it really starts on the 28th, which is uh, Monday, right? And uh, but it, this is just a heads up on that. So will MTL have to lead to Amazon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, In the collection dates that they'll be here. So you know, any help you can give us on that'd be great. Um, one other thing, jumping way ahead to our event in May on the 20th of May, which. Uh, Many of you are aware of. Uh, we're calling it the Hope and Dignity uh, fundraiser this year. Um, we got some pretty good things for our auction: seven days in Maui, uh, three days at the Point No Point Lighthouse, uh, three days in uh, Sri Lanka at a condo. Uh, was it? What do you call that thing? That kind of tank you go into? I don't know. I can't think of the word box. You're asking no, the wrong no, person. No, no. <laughs> A, deprivation, a deprivation tank. Oh, the sensory? Yeah, right. The yes. thing, Ron was telling me about it, you know, and you go in the thing and it's, you lay in the water and they turn off all the lights Ugh. and the sound and, <laughs> you know, if you don't like it dark. It gives dark, me anxiety is thinking about but it. it. You know, it says it's a tremendous yeah. uh, stress reduction uh, uh, activity. I'm getting on it for you know who. You know, <laughs> who. <laughs> it's a lot of <laughs> that I don't know. I've never done one of these. It just sounds kind of interesting. We have a uh, two weeks of pet sitting. It'll be auctioned off. Oh, that's dog fun. Or kitty or something like that. But a bunch of other stuff too. It's the twentieth of May. The whole, you know, we got the, the hood band. We got you know other activities. We'll have you know appetizer drinks, whatever. A um, hundred people have signed up already. Uh, our limit's 120. So if you're thinking about going to this, I, I can get in on that. And that's on MTL already. Okay? Mm -hmm. But right now, I don't want to <laughs> overshadow this. If you want to pick one of these up on the way out, fine. Again, remember, if you're our, on our mailing list, you'll get one. So don't take it if you don't need it. And I don't have to print out more. Okay? Right, thanks. thanks, Yep. Yes, Les. Yes, please do. Less to the stage, less to the stage. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody out there. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, theater club stuff. Holy moly, this is going to be a busy month. And this is just the start of the end of the season for all the 2023 shows. So we're going to start off this Thursday in Seattle to go see at the Fifth Avenue Into the Woods. This is one of two productions by Stephen, Stephen Sondheim that the Fifth Avenue people are doing this year in honor of Stephen Sondheim who passed away last year at like 92, 93 years old. And talk about a legend of Broadway, a king of Broadway. He was it for years and years. Um, reconnaissance on the show because we're going to see it at sort of the end of it from several people who said this is a terrific production. So if you've not seen Into the Woods on stage, this is a great one. There's um, a write-up, uh, it's on MTL. So go there, take a look. And if you want to come, let me know and we'll get you going on that. Uh, so again, that's March 2nd at 2.30. And we're taking the light rail in as we always do when we go to Seattle, running as a group. And it's always a wonderful adventure. Okay, next one is Rock of Ages. It is Tacoma Little Theater's one musical a year. And when they do a musical at Tacoma Little Theater, it's pull out all the stops. Um, for community theater, this is really good stuff. And that's March 12th. So March 2nd, March 12th, and that's a 2 o'clock matinee. And we'll be going to Pomodoro Italian Restaurant after that one. Into the Woods, I forgot to mention, we're going to Yard House in the city. Uh, Tuck Everlasting is March 19th. So what do we got here? The 2nd, the 12th. The 19th um, is um, a story for the whole family. This is a, a, a main stage theater productions in Puyallup, and they do a wonderful job. Um, this is community theater at its finest. Sometimes when you say the word community theater, you think, oh gosh, what am I going to get? <laughs> this is a cut above. Uh, 
uh, every production we've seen at Main Stage has been just wonderful. And I encourage you to take your family and come see Tuck Everlasting. March 19th, 2 o'clock. Following that, we're going to go to TK Irish Pub. Um, if we get people that are bringing children, we'll have to change the location because TK Irish Pub does not allow children in the restaurant. It's a pub, so it's 21 and above. So we'll see how that goes. Next one. <clears throat> a show that has been around for quite a while, but kind of underneath everybody's radar, is a show called Always Patsy Klein. It's going to be at the Performing Arts Center in Federal Way, which is a lovely new venue for us here. Been around for three, four years. Um, it's a one-night show only. Uh, it's a two-person show. It's a housewife who lives in Houston, Texas, and Patsy Klein. And Patsy Klein goes there for a show. These housewife, which funny story, as I was typing it all up and getting it ready to go out. Uh, even Microsoft Word had suggestions of how I should replace housewife with new modern appropriate <laughs> terms. It was hilarious. Um, and um, they form a vast friendship for the two years that Patsy Klein is still alive. Uh, and it's a wonderful show with 27 of Patsy Klein's songs. So even if you're not a Patsy Klein fan or you know, don't even know her music, which you do because they're standards, uh, it's a great, great show and you will be very happy you went to see this. Okay, so that's April 2nd, 7.30, it's an evening performance. Before that, we'll be going to dinner at Grand Peking Chinese Restaurant. Mm. Um, it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's right in front of Trader Joe's or side, mm -hmm. on the side of Trader Joe's. Um, and so we'll be going there. Uh, the last one on the list is Titanic the Musical. Mm -hmm. um, Titanic is a big show, like the ship was. It was designed to be a big show. Um, it's being done by Tacoma Musical Playhouse, which always does superlative work. Once again, they're community theater, but boy, you'd not ever know it. They're almost as good as Fifth Avenue or Paramount, um, good stuff. Um, we're gonna be doing three dates for this. The reason we're doing three dates is that there's a terrific restaurant within walking distance of the theater, matter of fact, it's across the street, um, called a Fusion Cafe. It's uh, uh, really a wonderful restaurant. I've never been there. I've been told by several people it's great, but they're not open on Sunday, which is when we normally go. So there's been a Group started to go on that on Saturday, on the 29th of April. So if you want to join that group, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to join that group, let us know. Marsh and I personally can't attend when everybody else is going, which is April 23rd. On April 23rd, we have like 10 or 15 people going on that one. But Marsh and I have to go <laughs> to the floor because we're going to be in Holland on that date that everybody else is going. So if anybody wants to go on the 16th, we're going to be going. So there's three dates for the show, and I encourage everybody to see Titanic the Musical. It is theater at its finest, um, kind of reliving the whole experience of the tragedy that occurred and the wonderful things that happened afterwards with maritime law to prevent such tragedies like this from ever having, happening again. So MTL's got all the information on most of these shows, on all the shows. Um, they always refresh them because they only allow us four, top four tiles on the bottom of the page. Um, so they'll be refreshed just one drops off, another one will come on. Please join us, we have a ton of fun. If anybody wants to get on our personal mailing list, as of yesterday when I sent out the newsletter, there was 197 people on our mailing list. So it's a big group. Um, you let us know and we'll put you on it. And we'll see you at the expo on Monday. Monday. Thank Thanks, you. Les. Anyone else have any other questions or announcements? Excellent. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, the <coughs> safe cleaning workshop starts at 11, so we're going to get busy flipping this space. And then we'll see everyone hopefully for the party tonight.